it takes is a few notes to capture Ayla Campbell's attention. How much we love you. Ayla has developed a love for music ever since she arrived 16 weeks early, weighing less than two pounds. Couldn't hold her, but I could put my finger on her back. It was in this neonatal intensive care unit at MU Healthcare that Ayla received her first visit from music therapist Emily Pivovarnik. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'll never forget the first time that we sang to Ayla. It was just me and my voice. Her heart rate would just go down and her oxygen was going up. If someone had told me that this could happen just from singing, I wouldn't have believed it. As Ayla grew, Emily would add instruments. It's a specific music therapy intervention called Multimodal Neurological Enhancement, or MNE. It was not rare to go into Ayla's room and see her oxygen saturation in the 70s and see her heart rate sky high and just to sing and to see her just kind of calm down. Her oxygen's going up. She looks calmer. The therapy combines music, gentle touch, and rocking designed to help a premature baby's brain develop. We get them before their brain is fully developed. And so it makes sense that whatever therapy we can target while that brain is developing would help them. Critically ill infants in the NICU are receiving medical treatment that's required for their, to save their lives. A lot of unexpected stimuli. We want to give them positive, developmentally appropriate stimulation as well. When a baby goes home, the second they walk out the door, they're going to hear the car horn, the car radio, <laughs> all kinds of things. So we do start introducing the guitar, the ukulele, some little shakers and things like that. Emily has seen positive effects on Ayla and countless babies in the NICU, helping them eat better, regulate their stress levels, and adjust to stimulation. So Emily is part of a team launching a research project to look at the long-term effects of multimodal neurological enhancement. I'm working with a colleague at the University of Georgia, Dr. Evans. There's a lot of really good research showing decreased length of stay, increased weight gain, that decreased stress behavior, decreased pain perception. There's a lot of really good information about that in our research literature already, but we want to look longitudinally at this data and see if there are long-term effects of this intervention on kids' neurodevelopment. After leaving the hospital, babies enrolled in the study will receive neurodevelopmental testing for two years. About 135 babies will be involved in the research. Typically, multimodal starts at about 32 weeks of age for twice a week. Over the past eight months in the NICU, Ayla has grown and developed as the Campbells prepare to head home. They know how music will always be part of Ayla's life. We can all learn the same song and sing it to Ayla and, you know, do instruments together. It'll definitely be part of the family. Bonding to a shared beat. And now